Good afternoon, my garden friends. I was gonna do a quick video here. No full garden tour yet. Uh, things aren't quite ready for that yet, but we're getting close. Um, or I may just have to do it in stages because everything kind of blooms at different times. So I may just end up doing that. But I wanted to show this beautiful rose bush to you today. This is Olivia Austin Rose by David Austin Roses. And she is in full bloom right now. Most of the blooms have opened up. There's still a few buds, but I just love this and I had to share it with you. Look at that perfect rosebud. Beautiful, stunning roses all over this bush. Oh, <laughs> there we are. That's just beautiful. Got tree pollen pods dropping all over the place right now. So as you can see, this rose doesn't get all day sun. Um, this time of day, it's about three o'clock and it's already in the shade this time of day. So it does very well with, you know, um, early morning to early, uh, late afternoon, excuse me, late morning and early afternoon sun. And this is right next to my driveway here, covered in pollen fronds. <laughs> Really looking graceful right now. And I see over here, there's actually a peony blooming that I've been eagerly awaiting to see. Oh, yay, look at it. This peony is called etched salmon. Is that I love the color. I got this from Swenson Gardens. They are in Minnesota, I believe. Look how gorgeous that is. And the owner was so sweet. Um, I had bought, th I believe, three of these a couple of years ago and they just didn't do very well and I think I actually lost one of them um, and somehow I made a comment about it online um, on Facebook and she actually saw the comment and was so sweet of her to she actually said she wanted to send me another one and so this was the replacement uh, peony that she had sent out and I planted it this past fall and look the very first uh, year that it's in the ground it's got a beautiful bloom on it so I really highly recommend Swenson Gardens it's a small um, family-owned peony farm and I've always just gotten the most wonderful peonies from them so I will put a link in the description to their website so you guys can check it out Isn't that wonderful? And the irises are still looking pretty good. 
the uh, the frost it did damage them a little bit, but they're they're holding nice and strong and doing very well. So everything's looking great right now. My husband just mulched this area last week, so as you can see, the uh, mint has taken over in this the cottage garden. So I'll have to eventually pull out some of it, but I like the naturalized look of it. Just don't want it to completely really take out all the plants or anything like that. So, hey, kitty. Hi, baby. What you doing? <laughs> and this rose over here. I'm trying to remember. It starts with a C, I think. Very pretty open faced rose. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I've had this rose for a really long time, so that may be why I've forgotten. <laughs> I've just gotten used to it being around. Um, here is this puny little thing. This is my Abraham Darby. It's got a couple of blooms on it and it's not looking very good at all it's got black spot and a lot of dead canes and this is this is what happenings with gardening y'all it's just some things do really great and some things just don't and of course my two absolute favorite david austin roses are abraham darby and evelyn and i've always struggled to grow them in my garden absolutely frustrating beyond all means because the fragrance and the color of those two roses are my absolute favorite. I love anything peachy, coral, pinks. I just, you know, love those type of roses. Um, so it's kind of a bummer that for some reason they just don't do very well in my garden. Um, but it is what it is and you just kind of have to work with what does. So, but anyway, this one right here is doing fabulous. I wish that my uh, Abraham Darby would do as well as this rose, right? <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, even Evelyn too. But I am thankful for this rose. It is very pretty and it's, it's looking its absolute best right now. So I wanted to show you guys and I will do a couple more videos. Um, every day there's more roses blooming. So you'll be seeing more and more from me for the next couple of weeks. I hope y'all are doing well and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.